Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to session 3. See, in last session, uh, we had discussed about major abiotic factors. In the session 3, we will be discussing about responses to abiotic factors. See, which means how the organisms respond to abiotic factors. Okay. How the organisms respond to abiotic factors. See, all organisms maintain a constant internal environment maintain a constant internal environment which means maintain a constant body temperature or constant osmotic concentration in body fluids that is called homeostasis say these homeostasis may be vary due to some external environmental conditions external and external environmental condition A constant internal environment yavaga variations agathe antandre yavaga external environmental condition vary agathe aga a constant internal environment enagathe variation agathe so ee external environment alli a abiotic factors ide so this abiotic factors andre temperature agirabodu light agirabodu okay so yavaga temperature variations agathe so aga constant internal environmental lo kuda enagutte variation kanutte okay so general lagi heladare for example ige summer season alli body temperature genta outside temperature jaasti iddaga body enagutte sweat agutte yake endandre to maintain constant temperature adhe winter season alli body enagutte body temperature enagutte kammi agutte so yake endandre outside temperature kammi irutte so yavaga winter season alli body temperature kammi irutto aga shivering enagutte nadaktivi so nadakdaga enagutte so aga it will produce heat so suddenly it raise the temperature maintain constant temperature so enagutte the body in madta ide respond to abiotic factors okay so this is called responses of responses to abiotic factors the organisms respond to abiotic factors okay see yavaga homeostasis vary agutte andre yavaga external environmental conditional condition vary agutte aga homeostasis vary agutte okay so this is possible by following process okay so ee topic nalli nimge exam nalli hege questions kelbodu andre see uh, what are the four ways through the living organism respond to abiotic factors or athwa least responses of living organisms to abiotic factors okay so there are four ways there are four responses the living organisms respond to abiotic factors number one regulate number two confirm number three migrate Number four, suspend. Number four, suspend. So these are all uh, responses of living organisms to abiotic factor, and these are the four ways of uh, uh, living organisms respond to abiotic factors. Now we will discuss one by one. Regulate. Say regulate is also called regulators. It's also called regulators say regulators regulate which means the organism maintain constant internal environment the organism maintain constant internal environment which means homeostasis homeostasis say internal environment means constant body temperature constant body temperature or and osmotic concentration in body fluid osmotic concentration in body fluid osmotic concentration in body fluid so this is called regulators okay the organism maintain constant body temperature the organism maintain constant body temperature so that is called thermoregulation it is called thermoregulation if the organism maintain constant osmotic concentration in body fluids that is called osmoregulation it's called osmoregulation okay so in homeostasis the organisms maintain 
constant body temperature that is called thermoregulation and the organism maintain constant osmotic concentration in body fluids that is called osmoregulations. So example for these regulators all birds all birds mammals mammals and some lower vertebrates and some lower vertebrates and invertebrates okay these are all the example for regulators see uh, thermoregulation thermoregulation means the organism maintain constant body temperature constant body temperature that is called thermoregulation okay so now we have to discuss about thermoregulation in mammals thermoregulation in mammals see the mammals have ability to maintain constant body temperature see for example in summer see in summer outside temperature is more than the body temperature see summer seasonally the body temperature is the outside temperature jossi idre so body enagutte automatically enagutte sweat agutte so this sweat yak agutte antandre because of because of see <coughs> it brings evaporating cooling effect or it brings cooling effect and to slow down the body temperature so yavaga outside environmentally temperature jaasti irutte nam body temp nam body temperature ginta so enagutte automatically body enagutte sweat agutte so because of to maintain constant temperature to maintain constant temperature so in winter season winter early so winter early enagutte antandre outside temperature enagutte kammi irutte outside temperature idaga automatically nama normal body temperature kuda enagutte slow down agutte so aga enagutte body uh, automatically enagutte shivering shivering inda nadaka naduka untagutte so shivering adage enagutte so it produce heat automatically temperature enagutte increase agutte to maintain constant temperature so this is called thermoregulation in mammals thermoregulation in mammals Okay. The second one is confirm. Confirm is also called confirmers. Is also called confirmers. Yes, what is confirm or confirmers? Say the organisms cannot maintain constant internal environment the organisms cannot maintain constant internal environment constant internal environment constant internal environment say which means uh, they cannot maintain constant body temperature and a constant osmotic concentration in body fluid okay which means the body temperature and osmotic concentration in body fluids changes changes okay according to their according to environment so this is called conformers this is called conformers conformer means the organisms cannot maintain constant internal environment which means the body temperature and the osmotic concentration in body fluids changes according to environment or according to surroundings this is called conformers okay see 90 per 99 percent of animals and plants cannot maintain constant internal environment okay so these are all changes to according to environment so this is called conformers okay so uh, the next we have to study some characteristics of conformers okay the body temperature the body temperature changes with ambient temperature changes with ambient temperature see ambient ambient mean uh, relating to immediate surroundings relating to immediate surroundings environmentally temperature any day sudden again it will immediately response to 
surroundings okay and in aquatic animals in aquatic animals animals osmotic concentration osmotic concentration of body fluid osmotic concentrations of body fluid osmotic concentration of body fluid changes with that of ambient water osmotic concentration ambient water osmotic concentration ambient water osmotic concentration okay these are all called characteristics of these are all called characteristics of uh, conformers okay see thermoregulation uh, in conformers it is not like that uh, regulators uh, see regulators le enagutittandre thermoregulation it maintain constant body temperature enagutittu temperature variation adru kuda enagutittu constant temperature ge benu uh, organisms uh, regulate maartittu constant temperature ge body na regulate maartittu but in conformers alli the thermoregulation is ener energetically the thermoregulation is energetically more expensive so because of they are all small animals shrew and hummingbird see shrew anadu a small insectivorous mammal is resembling like a mouse antandre ee chikka ilimarigal idiyalla aa tara irutte and hummingbird hummingbird is the smallest bird is to 5 cm irutte and 2 grams irutte okay so in these animals when outer uh, environmental condition is cold the animals lose the temperature very fastly see because of they have larger surface area relating to their volume so that's why see that's why the animals lose their temperature very fastly okay see for generating heat see for generating heat in these animals it they have to expand more energy they have to expand much energy so that's why so these animals not found in polar regions not found in polar regions not found in polar regions okay yes the next one is migrate see migrate antandre uh, movement from one place to another place that is called a, a migrate the some animals like birds the birds are migrated from one place to another place one place to another place one place to another place temporarily not permanently one place to another place temporarily not permanently see, be, see because of why the birds are migrate see because of the birds migrate from stressful area stressful area to more hospitable area more hospitable area okay see when stressful period is over see when stressful period is over okay again they return to migrated area again they return to migrated area see uh, example in winter in winter colorado national park colorado national park colorado national park is located in bharatpur bharatpur rajasthan rajasthan see in this park thousands of birds coming I mean, comes from siberia and other cold extremely cold northern regions northern regions northern regions okay yes so this is the example for migrates example for migrates pension okay cs so yes, suspend say which means uh, suspend is a temporary reduction of metabolic activities during stressful condition temporary reduction of temporary reduction of metabolic activities temporary reduction of metabolic activities so during stressful condition during stressful condition see see kelo seasonal e kelo animals metabolic activities enagutte kammi agutte and the animals activities also inactive okay say example in bacteria bacteria fungi fungi 
and lower plants and lower plants see bacteria fungi and lower plants see these are all produce a thick walled spores a thick walled spores so these spores survive in unfavorable condition unfavorable condition so if the if the condition is favorable they will germinate the spores are sorry the spores are germinate okay yes the example 2 next example 2 in some plant in some higher plants in some higher plants the seeds the seeds and vegetative reproductive structure vegetative reproductive structure reproductive structure remain dominant remain dormant say dormant or dominant dominancy which means which means inactive so when during favorable condition it the it will germinate the seeds will germinate example 4 in animals we can observe two process one is hibernation one is one is hibernation and estivation see hibernation means winter sleep estivation means summer sleep see hibernation uh, it is a process by which animal avoid the stress and inactive during winter season okay so example polar bears polar bears hemocardi okay see the second one is estivation estivation is also called summer sleep so, so estivation it is a process by which animals avoid the stress and inactive during summer season inactive during summer season example for estivation snails 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 and fish and some fishes and some fishes these are all example for estivation diaphos it is a stage of suspended development seen in many zooplanktons under unfavorable conditions thank you